Honeybees have three body parts, which include the head, thorax, and abdomen. They have six legs, two antennae, and an exoskeleton. Having these features is what makes up the class of insecta, the Latin word for insect. Insects make up the largest class of living things on earth. There are already over a million species of insects already named and many more to be discovered. Bees are very hairy. Being hairy helps capture pollen which sticks to their hair because of static, just like when you rub a balloon against your hair. Bees' hairs are also branched like the barbules of a feather, which really help capture the pollen. As the bee buzzes inside a flower, the pollen sticks to their hair and they then use their feet which have combs on them to gather the pollen and place it in their back legs so they, take, they can take it to their hive and eventually use it as food. Some of the pollen gets transferred from the bees hairs to another flower of the same species and pollinates them. The head can, contains the honey bee's brain, eyes, ocelli, antenna, and its mouth parts like the proboscis. Many people are mistake, mistakenly think, think that a honey bee has two eyes. In fact, a honey bee has five. Two main compound eyes located on the side of their head, which are made up of thousands of smaller tubes called omatildia, and three smaller eyes called ocelli located on their foreheads. You will notice that bees have hair on their eyes. Bees can see ultraviolet light, something that humans cannot see with the naked eye. Flowers have developed ultraviolet guidelines on their petals to help the bee locate the center of the flower. Another interesting fact found on the honeybee's forehead are glands that produce royal and worker jelly and become food for the bees beginning stages of, of their life as a larva. Royal jelly is sometimes collected by beekeepers and sold for human consumption. The antenna are sensory organs for the bees. They have tiny hairs that help them smell, taste, and sense air movements as well as temperature. They use these to communicate with other bees. Another body part that is interesting is their wings. Honeybees have four wings, two forewings and two hindwings. During flight, the smaller hindwing on each side attaches to the larger forewing with the wing hooks called humili. This not only makes each pair of wings appear and act as one big wing, which helps with flight efficiency. When the bee lands, the wings unhook and they can be folded back, allowing bees to fit into deep flowers. Bees have six legs. On the legs they have feet, and these are, these are called bee claws. They are used for walking and clinging onto objects such as flowers and combs in the hive. Bees can flex their claws when they need to cling onto something and relax them when they need to walk on flat surfaces. They also have pollen combs on the bee's hind legs. These are hairy sections where pollen, co pollen can gather. They have pollen baskets as well, and these are concave sections that are outside of the honeybee's hind legs and that serves as a relatively secure place where pollen can be collected. The, po the bee uses its combs on its legs and gathers the pollen and uh, uh, puts it into these pollen baskets. The abdomen of a honeybee is its hindmost section and houses most of the bee's internal organs, such as scent and wax glands, the digestive system, reproductive organs, 
the heart and the sting. The abdomen is composed of overlapping sections of exoskeleton that can slide and expand to facilitate breathing and it can change the shape of the bee for balance and aerodynamics as well as stinging. The stinger has several parts, including two extremely sharp barb lancets, a venom sac, and glands containing alarm sub substance. Once a bee stings because of its barb stinger, it cannot uh, take out its stinger, and so unfortunately, the, many of the bees die uh, when they sting. The queen bee does not have a barb stinger, and so she can sting multiple times. Honeybees are fascinating insects, and scientists keep discovering amazing things about how their bodies are suitable for being such efficient pollinators. This video is thanks to 4-H, a positive youth development program provided by Colorado State University and your local extension office. We are grateful to our partners Corteva and Pheasants Forever for bringing these videos to you as part of the Pollinator Habitat Pro Grant.